Hey guys, this is Mike and this is a video tutorial on our uh, wireless DMX sticks. They are both a transmitter and a receiver. Uh, now this is to wirelessly control your lights using a radio frequency at 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, each unit has seven selectable frequencies within the 2.4 gigahertz frequency bandwidth that you can choose. For example, uh, 2.4 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, so on and so forth. Seven different frequencies. And each frequency is indicated by a color on this little LED inside the light. Now, if you can see that up close there, we're on currently color blue. And there's a little hole right above the LED. And if you get a toothpick or something sharp and you find the little button inside there and you press it, you'll see that the colors on the LED are changing. There's red, there's green, yellow, blue, purple, aqua, white, and back to red. So seven frequencies. Now all of a sudden it started flashing green. Now I'll explain what that is in a minute. I have a second unit here, and this is plugged into a dongle box connected to my computer. I'm running Freestyler DMX software as my controller. Now it doesn't matter what your controlling or plugging your stick into. It could be a hardware controller, it could be a lighting board, it could be a little Shave Obey 4, 4 channel light mixer, or it can be software. But the main point is is that whatever your output is from whatever software or hardware device you're using is going to go into your transmitter. Now if we take this off, we look at the end of these two units. We call this a transmitter, we call this a receiver. Uh, because one has a male end, one has a female end. In truth though, the board, the circuit board inside of this, this is a transmitter slash receiver. Even though they have different ends, they both will act as a transmitter or receiver. It all depends on whether they're getting a signal uh, from the input or receiving a signal uh, or outputting a signal from their antenna. So right now, I have a signal coming from my dongle box through this cable, and when I plug into the stick, or I plug the stick into the output, it starts flashing red because it is getting a DMX signal and that signal is turning this into a transmitter. It's blinking right now because it's transmitting that signal through the antenna and this unit which is not plugged into anything right now which is not receiving an input of DMX signal into it it is listening through its antenna and now because this unit is transmitting this unit is picking up the signal and blinking green to show me that it is indeed receiving. So blinking red means you're transmitting, blinking green means you're receiving. And again, there are seven different discrete frequencies available on these units. The reason you have seven frequencies, here's an example, you're in a catering room, uh, in a big hotel, a lot of ballrooms, there's DJs and bands all over the place, and you know, a couple of the other DJs in the other rooms are also using lighting. Now you set up all your lights, everything is working great, you start playing, and then maybe midway through the job, your lights start freaking out. You discover the DJ next to you in the next room is also using DMX, and he's on the same frequency, maybe he's on the red color. So to solve this problem, so he doesn't mess up your light show, you can come in here, change your color from the red, it's blinking red, but that's not the color you're on, but in this case we are, we're on red, you can change from red to green, two presses. Now I'm on green, I'm blinking red now because I'm transmitting, that lets me know I'm transmitting, but I am on the color green. Now my receiver has stopped blinking green because this receiver, now that it's not receiving, it's, it's, it's waiting for instructions, it's showing you, hey, I'm on the red channel and I'm not getting any instructions, so I'm not gonna flash, I'm just gonna stay here and stay steady red. Um, we need to change this unit also to green and there we go and it will start flashing green and there it goes meaning that it is now receiving the signal again from your transmitter so your transmitter and your receiver need to be on the same color and each color represents a frequency so they need to be on the same frequency so they can talk to each other um, I've had questions like how many lights can you put uh, can you control from one receiver? The answer is unlimited. You can have five lights in the room, 
using a DMX stick receiver, or you could even use our battery operated uh, park hands. Like this is our, our, uh, our PowerPAR Q610, battery operated with built in wireless DMX. The DMX board inside this unit is the same exact DMX board that's inside our antennas. So you can have 100, 500, 1,000, 10,000 of these in a room and they can all be controlled from this one transmitter because basically think of it like a radio tower and everybody driving you know, in their cars on the highway. It doesn't matter how many people are on the road, they can all turn on their radio and they can all receive the same signal from this one transmitter. And it's the same thing with, with our units because it's radio frequency. Each receiver is basically a listening post. So you can have lights that don't have built-in DMX like uh, moving heads or older parkan units and take these receivers, stick them into the DMX input port, make sure that the light is in slave mode so that it's only listening, never putting out its own signal, turn on your transmitter, and you now have wireless control from your transmitter to your receiver. And as far as distance, it varies depending on the room, depending on obstacles that block the signal. But in an open air line of sight test, we've gotten a quarter of a mile distance between transmitter and receiver and still had control. But then again, we've also had events where we were behind a granite wall with steel beams inside of it. And the receiver was maybe 20 feet away, but it was around the wall. And we were blinking in and out because the granite and the steel was blocking the signal. So room dynamics do affect radio frequency. If you do come into issues, I suggest putting the transmitter up high so it's in line of sight of everything. If you have a very, very long room, another trick you can do is you can get a DMX splitter. Split the one signal coming out from your dongle box into two signals. A DMX splitter is basically a box that will amplify the signal and split it into two outputs of identical signal. And you can run a transmitter on a long cable to one side of the hole and a transmitter on the other cable to the other side of the hole to spread out your coverage, get greater coverage and greater control through your transmitters and receivers. So there you have it, the tutorial for our DMX wireless stick. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at luminlights.com.